Okay, so where was I before my video cut off? Because I don't even know where it cut off at. Um, but we were talking about uh, remembering like your ancestors and the things that they've been through, the things that they had to heal from, the things they had to grow from, go grow through actually. Um, there are messages of some of your family members were hustlers, okay? Like, there's no reason you should never not have some type of flow of money coming in, okay? Um, they're not telling you to repeat how they got it, especially if it was illegal, but that hustler mentality, that hustler energy, whether it's legal or illegal, it's supply and demand. They want you to figure out what is something that you can supply that's in demand, you know, legally, um, so that you can bring money into your life, okay? They're like, you have this gift to to make something out of nothing type of energy, okay? Um, and it's like everyone in your family has their own little hustle, whether it's doing hair, doing nails, landscaping, um babysitting having a or daycare like um having their own delivery service housekeeping um there's different ways where you can still be a boss and make really good money um i see someone selling plates of food and you know there's so many like i'm they're like yo there's so many ways you can sit there and make money what are you good at what are you good at and hustle the crap out of it. You get what I'm saying? Like, what are your talents? You know how to braid hair? You better start braiding hair and taking pictures and videos and have that Instagram popping. Um, if you, you know, whatever your skill set may be, okay? You may be great at organizing closets. That is a business. Like, they like, there's so many ways you can sit there and create. There's so, you can make a business out of anything is what I'm hearing. You can literally make a business out of anything. Okay, there's someone that's um, showing me like someone cleaning the windows. You could go to the shopping centers in your area, talk to them. Like you have to learn how to talk to people, okay? Because that's going to bring in some money for you, you know, offer your services. Some of you are great with Instagram and social media, period. Go in these businesses. There's a lot of businesses that need younger people to help them with their social medias and stuff. I was just in the nail salon. When was that? The beginning of September, I think it was. I went and had my nails done. And I was talking to the owner and I was telling her, I was like, yo, you really need to start asking your customers to leave reviews on Google. You really need to start doing it a little bit more, do more specials, you know, in your nail salon to get more clientele. You really need to sit there and post more videos and content on your social media platforms. I said, this is how people are finding people. I said, you need to get a TikTok. Like, you need to do this. You need to do that. You need to, you know. And it's like, she was just like overwhelmed because, you know, they grew up in an era where we didn't have social media. The most you were getting for <laughs> promotion was flyers, word of mouth, and it wasn't Google. We had the yellow pages, okay? So it's like, you have to sit there and like utilize something. You have a gift, you have a talent, whatever it is, push it out there. Like there's money to be made. Like there's no need. Like even if you lived in a area that wasn't a flu as affluent as most areas, like there was money still to be made. Like there was money out there. You get what I'm saying? That's why when you go to a lot of black communities, there's nothing but businesses there of other cultures because they know we spend money. There's money to be made, but you need to be doing it for your people. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, there's a need for that, for you to be reminded of that. For others of you, um, you, you could be looking back at, you know, your family and the decisions that they made. Maybe they played a lot of games or something like that. Maybe they didn't take life as serious. And that's something that, you know, you look back on and that motivates you. you it's an energy of looking back on your family's history and it being motivating instead of devastating. They want you to look back at your family 
and your bloodline and be motivated somehow, some way. Even if it was bad things that went on in the past, be motivated to do better, to be greater, to not get pregnant at an early age, to not, you know, um, cause it come, there's nothing wrong with being pregnant at an early age to each his own, but it's like you watched them struggle in some way, shape or form. You know, they didn't have the support system that they truly needed. You know, when they had these children at an early age and it's like, they don't want you to make them same decisions. They want you to be more financially stable. You know, when you bring a life into this world, you can't be that selfish to not think about what that child is going to go through growing up with you type of energy. Cause this could have happened to you and they want you to do better than that. There's an energy of, you know, you, there's like someone has property in their family like like real land like that you own like if you own this land like outright and the only thing you have to do is like pay taxes on it, it there's an energy of not selling that do not sell that land they want you to rent that land to a company or something or lease it out to a farmer whatever you got to do to put grow some trees on there do something on that land to generate some type of money okay because it's like, we didn't sit there and bust our behinds and struggle for that land to be sold. That land is supposed to stay in the family. So there's a need for that. Um, for others of you, if you did any type of manifestation work, it's, it's completed. But give it between five days and like the longest five months for something to transpire. Or for everything that you've asked for or tried to manifest, like give it that long. I don't see five years, but it's more so like five five days to five months. Everything that you tried to manifest is gonna come to fruition. Um, for others of you, there's a message of you basically got the message from them. And then yeah, there's an energy of somebody not leaving somewhere. Because you staying where you are is where you're going to make the most money. So I would honestly get a natal chart reading done with an astrologer. And um, see like how things are before you officially decide to pick up and leave. Because you may pick up and leave and go somewhere like your Pluto line. And then you'll be learning all types of lessons. And you ain't going to be happy with that. Um, cause it could have just been like a little rough patch of, you know, something happening and you're like, oh, I want to leave. No, they're like, no, stay put where you are. Cause you're going to make the most money where you are for the time being. Okay. Like right now is not the time. Or there's like, if you were planning to leave and move in July, they're like, no, you need to move in August for some reason. Okay. So instead of July, make it August. Okay. For some of you. And I really just feel like a lot of you um, are surrounded by divine feminine energy at this time. Whether you resonate with being a male or female, there's divine feminine energy surrounding you at this time where you need to be pouring into yourself more. You need to be taking care of your health. There's a need for you to master your emotions. There's a need for you to um, really be more present in your children's lives. Uh, asking them what it is that, you know, they need from you. Um, asking your inner child the same thing. There is an energy of healing just at this moment in time, like really taking time out for yourself, really um, caring, like really just caring for yourself, like really just making sure you're eating right, M making sure you have an adequate sleep, making sure um you're not allowing just anything and everything into your energetic field there's a need for you to be very very selective like you have to be you have to vet everything right now at this time because i feel like our emotions are high um and it's like it's high but at the same time you know when we go towards like this fall equinox in the winter um you get a little bit more sad because it's less sun outside and there's the possibly a need for you to order you some vitamin D, especially with the strike going on. You may want to have that on deck. Okay. Um, because there's a need for you to master your emotions at this time. 